Before we begin, in case you wanted to follow along, I've included some of the code snippets used here in the description, as well as a Unity package you can throw right into your scene. In this video, I'll be discussing two types of formations, the box formation and the radial formation. But we'll start with the box formation. Without any of the bells and whistles I'll be showing you shortly, the code is quite simple. If you've seen my grid tutorial, this should look familiar to you. We're just looping over our unit width, which we'll call X, and inside that, we're looping over our unit depth, which we'll call Z. Then, we're returning a vector using our current X and Z. In the end, it'll give you something like this. We can add some simple Perlin noise to the mix to give it a bit of chaos. Next, I added the ability to hollow out the box by only returning the outer edges. A spread value was added, which just multiplies their position to allow more control over the distance between units. Lastly, a way to offset every second row. I added a toggle to determine if my army should move in a uniform, militant sense, or if each unit should have its own personality. This gives it a bit more of a realistic feel. Here is the final code for the box formation. Pause the video if you'd like to inspect how I achieved each modification. Okay, let's bring these radial boys back in. Instead of the width and height values, for radial we use amount and radius. We can get some pretty interesting results by adding additional rotations to the circle as well as an offset. I added support for additional rings, as well as an offset for every second ring. You can make some seriously weird formations by just messing around with the values. Don't even ask me what's going on here. I hope you enjoyed this little video, give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know what you think could be improved in the comments. 